Hey everyone. So last summer I was hanging out with my boyfriend and he got a phone call. He was going to be on this phone call for a long time and I didn't have my headphones. So I was just there on my phone. I couldn't go on YouTube. I couldn't do anything that was going to make noise and interrupt that phone call. And for literally no reason that I can remember, I decided, okay, I guess I'll just read something on my phone. Why not read about Frida Kahlo? I cannot remember why. I Maybe earlier that day I had seen Frida Kahlo mentioned somewhere. I don't know, but I ended up reading the entire Wikipedia article for Frida and suddenly this fascination happened. Like I just, I just wanted to know more about her. I found her so interesting. So a couple days later, maybe even the next day, I don't remember, we went to a bookshop and I got this book. I decided, you know what? Yes, I could take ages like researching Frida online, but I would love to get a book, a biography about her. Um, I don't read many biographies. I really can't remember um, another like historical figure I've really wanted to learn about. So I go out and buy their biography. But for some reason, me and Frida, we needed to get to know each other. So I found this one when we went to a bookshop and this started a trend that has ended up with me having seven Frida Kahlo books. <laughs> so today I'm going to show you all of my books, some I've read, some I'm currently reading, some I plan on reading soon, um, just because maybe you're like me and you think Frida's great and you would like to learn more about her too. So the first one is this one, Frida Kahlo, I Paint My Reality. Um, it is edited by Christina Burris and it's published by Thames and Hudson. Obviously, I'll link everything down below. I really, really, really recommend this for your first Frida book because of several reasons. Number one, it's very short. So you want to get to know Frida better, but you don't, maybe you don't want to commit to a 600 page biography yet. This is going to tell you so much more than Wikipedia will, will. It'll tell you so much more than randomly searching things online will, but it's not going to take you ages. It's also full full to the brim of photographs, of scans of her art, um, of all of these pictures that are so great. I'm so glad I got this because it really like laid a foundation on Frida knowledge. I feel like I know the basics now and then it was about learning more, filling in the blanks. So after I read that one, I found this. It is The Diary of Frida Kahlo, an intimate self-portrait. The introduction is by Carlos Fuentes. There's essays and commentary by Sarah Lau, but this is Frida Kahlo's journal. Well, one of them. She kept a lot of stuff that she like recorded her life with. It is a scan of her journal. It is amazing. It's so vibrant and beautiful. Here you can see like one of the opening essays and at the back you can see that the journal pages are here with the English translations because Frida Kahlo spoke Spanish. She wrote in Spanish. The journal is in Spanish. <laughs> Thankfully I can read Spanish so I can read this but also even if you can read Spanish some of this is hard to read. You know she doesn't have the nicest font in the world. Um, but this is amazing because of all of the illustrations. It's extra art, you know? Her thoughts are fascinating. I haven't finished it yet. I'm, I just really flipped through it, but I'm so excited to really get into it because this is like straight from the horse's mouth, right? Um, that's the front of it, her actual journal. That is gorgeous. I love that I know who took this photograph. <laughs> I've gotten deep in the research, guys. Giselle Freund. So after that journal, I found this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is really exciting. Obviously, beautiful cover, beautiful illustrations around. This is a graphic novelization of Frida Kahlo's life. Hot damn. Now, I didn't know when I bought it, but I have read it now, so I can confirm. This book is from the perspective of Frida and death having a conversation about Frida's life. She lived her life in a considerable amount of pain. She had polio and or spina bifida when she was a child, but she was in a major bus accident when she was 18. 
which completely tore apart her body, broke it in every way you could possibly imagine. The rest of her life, she um, eventually had to have her foot amputated. She uh, spent lots of time in a wheelchair. Uh, she had to wear corsets all the time. She had dozens of surgeries. So she was kind of always dancing with death, if you know what I mean. So the book takes this angle and says, okay, conversation between Frida and death. I did really enjoy it, but I wouldn't say this is where you should start with Frida Kahlo, simply because this really focused focused on her pain, which was a big part of her life for sure, but it was also just mainly about uh, her relationships. And again, her relationships are a big part of her life, but I actually didn't feel like we touched that much on her painting, which was just kind of strange, but it, it is really good. And if you're really into Frida Kahlo, uh, you should get this. It's beautiful, um, kind of violent kind of overly sexualized because that's what her life was like. Um, but yeah, it was great. I'm glad I have it as part of my collection. The next book I got has perhaps started a dangerous side quest in my Frida books overall quest. This book, Frida Kahlo, uh, the Giselle Freund photographs. Oh. So I discovered this book online. It's a very pretty book um, and it is as it says, a collection of photographs of Frida Kahlo by Giselle Freund. So Giselle was a, fo a photographer from Germany. She was going to take a two week trip to Mexico. She ended up staying for two years. She befriended all of these Mexican artists and people. She loved um, chronicling Mexican life. And she ended up befriending Diego Rivera, who is Frida Kahlo's husband. And because of that, they, she ended up spending a lot of time in Frida's home and took photos of Frida and Diego. So here's the only problem I have with this book, because otherwise it's beautiful. This book is gorgeous. By the way, it's published by Abrams. Um, it's a fantastic book. I'm really glad I have it. And the photographs are fascinating because you have photographs of Frida, but you also have a lot of photographs of her home, which is really cool because you get to really understand like what she, what it was like when she lived there. There's photos of her pets and photos of her bed, which where she spent a lot of time. There's photos of her desk, photos of her paints. It's fantastic. And there are some colored photos as well. My only problem with this book is that at least half, if not more, like it, there's a distinct possibility, I didn't count, but there's a distinct possibility that more than half of this book is photos of Diego Rivera. Now, there's nothing wrong with photos of Diego Rivera. That's great. They're very good photographs. They're fascinating. Um, if you don't know who Diego Rivera is, he was a very, very famous muralist from Mexico. But this book is called Frida Kahlo. And I think that's a mistake. It should be called Frida and Diego. I felt a little disappointed when I got kind of partway through the collection and suddenly there was no more photos of Frida. It was just photo after photo after photo after photo of Diego Rivera. And I think, don't lie and say that these are all photos of Frida Kahlo. So they're really good photos. And if you want them, you should get it because it's really pretty. Um, like I mentioned, I'm excited to get more books of photography of Frida because her self image is really important to who Frida was, right? She loved doing self portraiture, but also you just really start to get to know her as a person. It, um, it's almost like, I don't know, it's like watching a video of someone, you, you know, watching vlogs of people, you get to know those people, their mannerisms, the way that, that they kind of embody space. Um, and so I love just seeing photos of her. The next book is the one I'm currently reading. I'm so glad that I finally found it because I saw some people reading it on Instagram and stuff and I couldn't find it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and it is Frida Kahlo Una Biografia by Maria Hesse. This is in Spanish and I couldn't find it in English part one and I couldn't find it sold part two, but then I found it and I'm really glad. Um, so this is another graphic novel version of Frida Kahlo's life. I love <laughs> graphic novel biographies. They're so good. So this, you can already just see from the cover, but the art in this is outstanding. It's really, really pretty. And I mean, I would, that is a bookmark I made, a Frida Kahlo bookmark. I have an obsession, all right? Okay, we've all embraced this. And it's really cool to kind of see 
um, Maria Hesse's interpretations of Frida Kahlo's paintings. But yes, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I can't say definitively what I think of it because I haven't finished it. I'm on page 34. But if you can read Spanish, I do recommend it so far. It's fascinating. One thing that I'm loving, here I'll show you, is that I, I now have like a real basis understanding of Frida Kahlo. So there's two things that are happening. I either read something and it confirms it in my mind. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I know that. Or I read something and I'm like, that's new. I didn't know that before. <laughs> um, so like, yeah, right here you can maybe see, I don't know. You It says, new info, new info, need to confirm. I needed to confirm because every other biography I've read said that Frida had pol polio when she was young. This one argues that she had spina bifida. And I'm like, can we just say that? <laughs> I was like, I need to confirm this info. So I am becoming a scholar on Frida Kahlo. I am not qualified. I've only taken like two or three art history courses, but I am really enjoying that book and I do recommend it. The other two books I have, I have not read yet. They are like next up on my to read pile. Um, the, the next one I'll show you is The Secret Book of Frida Kahlo, a novel by F.G. Hagenbeck. That's a difficult font to read. Difficult font. This is really cool because obviously it says it's a novel. It's a creative version of her life. Frida Kahlo at this point isn't just Frida Kahlo. Do you know what I mean? Like she's become like many, like so many historical figures, she's become kind of a myth and a legend. So I'm very interested to see how she's used as a character. Um, so this will be really cool. This will probably not be the next one I read though. Once I finish that biography, I will probably, and it's huge, <laughs> it's intimidating, but I will probably pick up this one next. A Biography of Frida Kahlo by Hayden Herrera. This is the definitive work. This is the most often quoted, used, referenced biography on Frida Kahlo. This is the one that the famous film with, with Salma Hayek, um, that, this is the one that that film was based off of. So a lot of the covers of this book have Salma Hayek on the front instead of Frida, which I find bizarre. Su super meta. It does have inserts in it with like some of her art and also some photographs of her and of relevant figures in her life, etc. So it does have some extra stuff, but you know what? It's just a giant biography of Frida and I'm ready for it. <laughs> If you want to find out what I think of this one and the other one, I will definitely update my Goodreads page about them when I read them. So check that out if you want to get a follow up. And so these are my Frida Kahlo books. Honestly, I love this collection. I love what it means to me. I love that it's completely unattached to anything that I'm doing. This is just a passion project, you know, learning about Frida Kahlo is just for me. It's just for me. It's not for school. It's not for work. It's just for me. Just me and Frida. <laughs> I'd love to hear down below if you have read a book about Frida Kahlo, if you recommend it, but also if you have a historical figure or a, or a subject that you've really gotten into and suddenly you find yourself with a bunch of books and movies about that subject. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.